In order to get enough clients, you need to talk to a lot of people. But the way that you talk to people can either be an experience of intimidation, anxiety, are they going to hire me, and facing rejections that are discouraging to you, or you can talk to people from the mode of understanding and helping them. And when it's the right fit, you will provide a digestible resource for them and may even be some, somebody that you really genuinely would love to have as a client. And if that's the case, you can express that to them to say, you know what, I've really enjoyed this conversation. It would be an honor to have you as a client if it feels right to you at this time. Happy to answer any questions. So in other words, I'm inviting you to shift from seeing sales as a numbers game where every no or every rejection that you get results in one step closer to a yes, one step closer to a client, which is such an unpleasant way of running a business. This is how a lot of sales training is taught. Every no is one closer to a yes and rejection is a good thing. Well, it's not a good thing. I mean, you know it's not a good thing. Come on, let's, let's be authentic here. Who, you know, I, especially for those of us who are heart-based and who are more sensitive to other people's energy, we're, we don't want to get rejection. And guess what? We don't have to. Rejection happens when you come to a conversation with a strong agenda that, ah, this person better hire me or I better do whatever I can whatever you know manipulation in the conversation that I can with driving the conversation this way or that way until they realize that I am the right service provider for them and if they don't realize that it's a rejection now recently I put myself as a potential client to several service providers who are sales experts and I was because I'm I've been interested in uh, the process of selling for many years and particularly authentic selling for the last seven or eight years I've been I've been thinking a lot about and helping my clients with it and so I wanted to see well late recently you know what is it like to be a potential client to somebody who is supposedly a sales expert and each time that I that I had that experience I was disappointed why I was frankly shocked that I could sense very quickly that they had a script that they were basically going through. Now, maybe it wasn't a word to word that they were reading, but they were trying to get me to emphasize the problems that I had, the frustrations that I had and how intense those were or the yearnings or goals I had and how important they are to me and therefore why I need to invest in a, in a resource or invest in support to help myself. And it's like, come on, I, I know what you're doing because I know sales. <laughs> but secondly, even if I didn't know sales, it still it didn't feel like an authentic human-to-human -human connection. And not surprisingly, I didn't sign up for their service, even though I genuinely was interested. But not that if the person is going to treat me like that, I don't want that kind of connection. So how will you approach your potential clients in the next conversation? When I say conversation, by the way, it could be a video call. It could also be an Instagram direct messaging thread. It could be an email thread. It doesn't have to be face to face, but the principle still applies. Are you approaching the conversation with a strong agenda that this person better become my client, which is how a lot of sales training, unfortunately, is taught? Or are you, on the other hand, approaching the conversation thinking this, this person in front of me is a infinitely valuable human being, a soul who deserves my unconditional support in this conversation. So how can I understand what they're going through right now, what problems motivate them right now, what goals motivate them right now? How can I understand that better so that I can provide, I can suggest a good resource for them?
a resource could be a link to an article I've read, or it could be a, a friend that provides the kind of service that they, that they need right now. Or guess what? It could also literally be what I provide. Because in a conversation, if they're telling me about what motivates them, their goals and their problems, I'm asking them questions about that. And they tell me the goals and problems that literally I'm excited to help people with because that's what I do. You know, whatever it is, what, you know, you're, telling, you're talking to that person and they're telling you the thing that you love doing for your clients, then naturally there's an enthusiasm to say, oh my gosh, I totally get it. And in fact, this is the kind of thing that I love helping people with. And if it feels right to you, I, I'd be happy to answer questions about my services. But, um, you know, just, just wanted to mention that and, uh, you know, let me know if you have any questions. It can feel like a human-to-human, friend-to-friend conversation rather than a salesperson to prospect the prospect type of interaction. In other words, it can feel relational rather than transactional. So I hope this is helpful as you bring yourself to the next conversation, the next email thread, the next direct messaging thread with a potential client. Approach it with love. Approach it with understanding and helping. And your conversations will be so much more enjoyable. And they're going to probably enjoy you much more than any other service provider that they're talking to. Not surprisingly, they'll probably become your client. Some of them will, if it's the right fit. Or some of them will tell people about you. I hope this helps. I wish you enjoyment and genuine, fulfilling connections as you have more conversations with your potential clients. Be well. Thanks for joining me.